What's going on guys? Pixel Rich Games here and in this video, I'll guide you through how to get all the great fairies unlocked as fast as possible. So, we have all the nice armor pieces to collect in Tears of the Kingdom and to make them all stronger, we need the help of the great fairies. Unlike in Breath of the Wild, where we just give them rupees to get them out of their buds, we will need to complete a bunch of side quests this time around. To start the whole unlock process, let's head over to the Lucky Clover Gazette just outside of Rito Village to the east. Just look for a stable looking place in the area and that should be it. Talk to Tracy, the lady scanning a map, and Penn, the Rito right beside her. You will want them to recruit you to join Lucky Clover Gazette to help investigate the Zelda sightings that are happening across all Hyrule. After joining the Gazette, let's head over to Woodland Stable and look for Pen, who should be talking with Mastro and Violin. If you skip joining the Gazette, They'll just tell you that they want to report an incident with the Gazette located in the Hebra region. But now that we're done with that, our goal is to reunite the stable Trotters band who used to play to the fairies and are able to get the fairies out with their music. Each fairy likes a specific instrument in the band and can't stop themselves from coming out when they hear them play. So. To unlock each fairy, we will need to recruit one band member and solve a transportation puzzle to bring the band to a fairy. Great Fairy Terra is the first on the list because she's the one near Woodland Stable. We will need to bring Mastro and Violin to her, but before we can do that, we need to repair Breezer, the bandwagon. For this part, all we need to do is attach some wheels to Breezer take out our horse and equip it with a towing harness. Then stick the wagon to the harness. If you don't have a horse yet, check out my vid on getting your first horse. I'll put a link in the description box. If you don't have the harness, just register your horse to a stable. This first one's free of charge and you should earn two points. One for your first visit to the stable and the second for registering a horse. You will need one more to unlock the harness and to speed things up, just sell some stuff to get 20 rupees and sleep in the stable to get another pony point. Now take out your horse and equip the harness. Attaching Breezer to the harness is a bit tricky the first time because you can't ultra hand your horse with the harness so you'll need to position the horse close enough to reach Breezer. Okay, now we're ready to get our first great fairy. Just follow this path, enjoy the music, and soon enough, a great fairy will try to hit on you again. Next stop, Snowfield Stable where we unlock Miha. Talk to Mastro and he'll give you clues on where to find the next band member named Eustace who plays a French horn looking instrument. To make the ride shorter, fast travel to New Serene Stable or closer to Bantha Bridge Stable if you have any of the two already. Otherwise, fast travel to Linder's Brow Skyview Tower and glide your way to Tabantha Bridge Stable just southwest of the tower. If you don't have any of them, then I suggest you enjoy the scenic route and pick them up on your way to Eustace. Here's the path to follow coming from Tabantha Bridge Stable, the closest one. Thank you. 
you can use this Bokoblin Tower as a landmark. You need to just get past this a bit and to your right, you'll see this huge hole in the ground with Eustace sending out a smoke signal. Let's head over to help poor Eustace. He's eager to rejoin the stable trotters, but he needs help getting out of this hole with his wagon. Our Ultra Hand doesn't reach far enough to simply drag the wagon straight away, but we do have everything we need to get Eustace out of here. We need to get the wagon out together with Eustace. If you just try to get the wagon out, Eustace will reset the whole thing and put the wagon back inside the hole. He doesn't want to get left behind. So once you're done engineering your wagon, go talk to Eustace so he can ride it before we can get him out. This is the same process throughout all the mini quests that we need to complete, so just take note of that. So let's help our bro out of this mess. Time to head back to Snowfield Stable and you'll see that Eustace is back with the gang. Talk to Mastro and he'll tell you that Breezer needs a roof to keep the snow out. So Ultra Hand 1 and attach the wagon to your horse harness like we did earlier and ride our way to Miha's location. There's a Bokoblin Rider on the way there, but it's no biggie and you can just ignore it. Nice! Two down, two to go. Next stop, Outskirts Stable. So let's talk to Mastro again to start the side quest to unlock Great Fairy Kaisa. This time, we will need to look for Piper, the flutist. Mastro will give us some clues where we can find Piper and this one's the easiest to complete. Head over to Highland Stable and if you already have the Utsu Shock Shrine fast travel unlock already, you'll hear Piper playing his flute up a tree even before you reach a stable. So climb the tree and talk to him. He'll tell you that he made some promise to a girl who works in a stable named Haiti. Long story short, we need to give Piper 10 Sunset Fireflies. If you already have them, great. If not, just go look for Beetle in the stable. He sells three of them at a time, so just keep on sleeping in the stable to reset Beetle stock until you bought enough. This is also a great way to get those pony points going. After collecting them all, go talk to Piper again to get him to tell you the next part of his cheesy plan for Haiti. He'll ask you to bring Haiti to this tree at nightfall so he can do his thing. To speed up time, you can either sleep in the stable again to get another pony point while you're at it, or you can cheap out and sit by the fire outside till nightfall. Now, Haiti should be sitting inside a stable by the middle post, so just go talk to her to get her to follow you to the tree of infatuation and enjoy the rest of the cutscene. Gotta say, Piper prepared something nice, cheesy yes, but also nice. We can go back to outskirts stable to talk to Mastro you should see that Piper is back with the crew. The next part, I'm pretty sure you guessed already. We need to help them again with Breezer the Wagon and we do have everything we need lying around to do so. We need to build something that's enough for off-roading. Don't forget to put the controls on your ride because we're making some turns to get to Kaisa. After you're done with your latest invention, Talk to Mastro again to get the band to board the wagon and then simply follow this path. Okay, not that. This one.
All right, time to unlock the last one, the Great Fairy Kotera in Dueling Peak Stable. I have some excitement bias to unlock her because of Age of Calamity. Not sure if anyone else has it, but that's me. Let's go ahead and talk to Master again. The last member of the band that we need to look for is Beats, the drummer. He's gonna tell us that Beats is near Kakariko Village where the road bends around Bonuru Stand. Okay, so here is that place on the map and we can just ride there. Once you get to this place, you'll start to hear some sort of percussion drums playing. Beats is in this area right here, so go and speak to him and he'll tell you that he's trying to attract bees to him with his music. Don't know how that'll work? Probably won't. That's why he still needs our help. What he needs are some honey to make honey crepes for Mastro. So the next item we need are some coarser bee honey. If you have them already, great. If not, we can go to Kakariko Village to the East Hill and just go around looking up so you can see the honeycombs. You should also hear buzzing bees when you get near them. I also found one beside the Bokoblin near the chasm. You'll be needing three of them, so give it a bit of patience. Once you have all three, go back to beat so we can take them off of you and rejoin the stable trotters. Okay, we're at the last stretch. Go back to Mastro at the Dueling Peak Stable and talk to him. Now, all's well with the band, but we gotta make Breezer amphibious this time to get to Kotera. This is the contraption that I came up with. I ultra-handed additional lumber at the back of it because Breezer tends to sing the thing without them. Finally, all that's left is to ferry our way to Kotera and we're done. Alright, don't forget to leave a like if the vid was helpful. Hoping it was. Support your boy by subscribing to the channel. Stay safe and God bless us all. See you in the next one. Peace.